it. One day, uh, I'm going to memorize all of the me brawler kick. sets so that I can... This character recently got buffed, by the way. Yeah. I believe down B, the special uh, slam down B got buffed, uh, which I don't believe he's playing with. I could be wrong about that, but now that move just breaks a full shield. It's, it's, mm. it's hilarious. You got Albert Numbers over here against the Poke Lamb. <laughs> Albert Numbers, John Numbers, lost, long lost brother. <laughs> this is a different, from different breed, different clan of Numbers. Of the Hugo clan. Oh, good solid jab here. Oh, oh no, you don't want to give him that. He's got two bowling <laughs> balls now. <laughs> you don't want to give him that. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so afraid for your life oh, right he, here. It's going. It's going. Oh, oh, good early up B. That was actually an amazing up B. <laughs> Absolutely threading the needle to dodge that bowling ball. And now Albert is on stage and he has a lead, like a decent lead here. Oh, you know, he doesn't have it. See, I like how in this game you get to see, like, if they still have the item or not. They probably use it, like, in a, in a trade situation. They just came out and didn't hit him. I hate those, by the way, where you're like, oh, I'm gonna do this move. Yeah, let me eat that. The game's like, wow, I guess your move doesn't exist anymore because we decided to trade here. Oh, I love it when that happens to Wario. Yeah. <laughs> When Wario Waft just disappears, and you're like, huh, how did Wario like, Waft go? Waft go? Oh, wow, what a way to face the forward smash there. Oh, he gets it again. Actually, so yes, that's scary. On the other hand, if he has a bowling ball in his pocket, he can't pocket the next, or sorry, the shot put. Then he uh. can't pocket the next shot put. Huh. I don't know what he was going for there, but... I, I assume he was going okay, for... Okay, back air. Let's just go through everything. I, I assume he was going for... Uh, Flying off the stage and dying in the blast. <laughs> yeah. the I, I'm not going to. I, I'm assuming he was a it's command. Cool. Yeah. That suplex, by the way, really yeah. good. The damage output on it is way more than you think it'd be. And I will say that Albert, you know, he's been he, he sort of. It's been on him to get in against Pokelam, and he's been doing a fantastic job of that. You know, always getting these little tiny hits and able to convert off of that, and then not overextending. He's not jumping into bowling balls or anything like that. So for the most part, this neutral play has just been really stellar from him. Oh, what a trade. I mean, tech, sorry. Yeah, they're doing a really good job of staying away from Pokemon's whole game plan right now. They're like right outside the range of what they can they go <laughs> for. Oh, well, no punish on the Lord. Lloyd being, uh, Lloyd pull out being like the most vulnerable place a villager could be, in my opinion. Mm. But offstage, it's, it's, it's a little hard to punish here for, for me fighter. You have to know preemptively they're gonna do it. Yeah, and Pokeland does a good job of not making it so obvious when they do it. Tree. Oh, wow, they pocketed through the tree. Crazy. Oh! Ah, you throw one? I throw one. <laughs> <laughs> and you lose your stock Don't for do it. it. I have the high ground. <laughs> yeah, simply that. Same plays there for Pokelam. And that's actually, that's a huge pickup for Pokelam. He was down by so much. And I don't know how much damage that shot put did, but I think that killed at 70. Yeah. Albert was mostly in the lead this, this whole game until that moment happened right there. Well, just... to be honest, this is exactly what happened for that first stock, remember? Oh, yes. Died at 70, immediately answered with a back air, so... If that trend continues, Pokolam will be killing him at 70 oh, before... Oh, uh, that one. He's too busy chopping that tree. Seeing a little aggressiveness coming from Albert. <laughs> okay, scary situation right there. It's good, though, because you're jumping right in on, on Pokolam's uh, potential setups and just giving them the work with his damage. And he is not getting hit by these bowling balls. He's doing a great job of playing around that particular option. And I love the use of neutral air, the fact that the neutral air, we're seeing how it can eat those slingshot hits. And that means that as a neutral tool, it's fantastic. Because that's normally Ooh. one of Pokemon's favorite yes, options. Oh, they give it back to him. <gasps> oh! This is good. They, they have the high ground. That's the main difference this time. They can't they can't shoot it from the ground. There's so much recovery when they do. <laughs> oh! Pokemon trying to bank it on that, that shot, but. That back air is still back threatening! Air is <laughs> He's been jumping from ledge all the time. Yes, That's really. something that Pokolem, if he exploits it, like I feel like if Albert ends up on the ledge one more time, Pokolem is going to exploit that ledge jump. And if, if he does, if Albert ends up biting, that could be his death. Oh, he, oh, oh, this might be his death. Oh, no, no, great job to recover. It, I'm so oh, 
that? What was the range on that? That was some Fox. That was some Fox stuff right there. Did he extend his hurt box, or is that move just? Are Ooh, his shoes invisible? <laughs> Hold on, let me look at that again, frame by frame. Okay, so first of all, yeah, I could. The... Oh wait, go back. Um... Wait, is it around here? Oh, yeah, is it around here? Oh, you did. Okay. All right, cool. Okay, let's pause. So, so with the nair, look how far he was. One, two, three, four. Oh! Okay, no, oh. so his hand was there, just hidden by the tree. Enhanced. It. <laughs> <laughs> Enhanced. And look at this. <laughs> he, he has become one with the tree. <laughs> it's like, I thought I was hidden. <laughs> <laughs> Cut him off the branches like some ninja stuff. Yeah. Uh, one thing that is also Isabel, huh? Interesting choice. Huh. He, also, he, has an, he has an Isabel as well. Not a bad Isabel. But I'm like, I'm wondering why specifically change to Isabel. Like, is there any? Is there a particular option he's this looking one's... to use more? She does have that broom. That she does. Yeah. Yeah. No. And the hook. That is a yeah. The character does have what possibly could be better uh, anti-air options. Oh, fuck him. Yeah. Get him, girl. Build a house. Yeah, and I feel like some of the best uh, tools that normally villager has weren't working, you know, like bowling ball. I don't think Albert got hit by a single bowling ball that entire game. Oh no. She does have pocket though, but <laughs> Oh, that's not gonna kill. It's but that... She's too cute. She can't kill. She's but it is a real call out, nonetheless. And now we have completely even percent here. Yeah, the threat of the fishing rod is also a good thing to keep him out, but it's punished. Keeps going for it too, it's not gonna kill. Albert is a very composed player, not really showing any fear here against this character. Solidly going up and just punishing accordingly whenever Pokalam makes a mistake with it, goes for a read. Yeah. And Pokalam's holding a lot of shield there, and you can see how the shield's getting a little bit oh, tiny. covered it with the mine! Man, well, I don't even. <laughs> this, this is such a strange. There's so much in neutral going on here. Right here. <gasps> and the upbeat to catch. Upbeat out of shield. That was such a, such a wonderful option to choose at that point. Yeah. The fact that you know <gasps> Isabel had gone for that uh, neutral air, which I'm pretty Isabel sure is pretty him. safe once the late landing in connects. But young Albert, going ham. Okay. Solid stuff. Big damage is coming. Oh, the grab! Went so far. Ooh. Oh no, I went that side. Wow, it's still there. Or did she put another one out? Yeah, this is this is actually a good uh, character counter pick right here for Pokemon. Because now they have the, the the small horizontal range they needed to combat against whatever Albert was going for here. And bring us close to like even or hold the lead. Ooh, nice use of the little slide tech. Oh, oh instant toss! You ever seen somebody catch a shot put? It, it does. It's not like that. Ooh, no Ooh. big damage! Big damage! Yeah, that's pretty big damage. Yeah, and this tech is gonna cost Albert about forty-five percent. And Pokalam now has a serious lead that we—I don't know if we've seen him with this kind of lead so far in this set. Yeah, I'll smash out a shield. Oh wow! Go escape there. Yeah, like most of the characters will get like 60 or like 80 or maybe a kill off of that mistech. This book gets a nice little 45 and calls it a day. It's still good damage, still good damage. Just don't miss your text. Isabel's so cute when she's holding shield. Yeah, she's like, oh, okay. She's just like, no, please. No, I'll kill you. Yamaru. <laughs> Give her an axe instead. Ooh, that's still not enough. Those big blocks. I actually love this counter pick from, uh, from uh, Pokalam. Yes. The fact that those up off the top kills were so important. And that's like two of them where I'm pretty sure if we were on any stage that wasn't Town City, that would have killed. Like, oh, oh, you got hit by the, the Lloyd. Diglett Lloyd. Another one. <laughs> yeah, bark him. Oh, oh, suplex. That suplex does so much damage. It's yeah. just like 23%. It's a lot. What a trade there. Rage could benefit Albert here if they can get a chance to go in and just do some nice little damage here. Oh! oh to, to run up there and I'll smash just to end it all. Now, do we know what side B um, 
Albert is using. Because I, I know think it's a suplex. You are correct. Suplex, yes, yeah. it is a suplex. All right, so he's not going to have access down, to though. some of the grab. Oh, oh wow! Oh. Setup was perfect and clean there, Pokemon. That could have been Albert's comeback there, because it's because it, V Fighter is so threatening. Oh yeah. But that setup there from Pokemon is why he's one of the best to ever do it. Yeah, and I will also say that like that. that particular setup. Clean. You know, the way that he got led himself into it, he could not do that with Villager. He's using... Oh, no. I love the fact he used those platforms to turn up Fishing Odd into an anti-air option. Shows like a, a slight little difference in, in choosing for a matchup in this game. Because like some characters would be like, oh man, I, I fight better with uh, Is Isabel here than I do with Villager here. So it's a good, it's a good uh, dual main here to have. Able to handle sort of matches that the other can, I feel. Yeah, and now we're going to be going to small battlefield. I, I can understand it. Uh, for the first, first of all, that smaller blast zone on the top could be really big for Albert. We saw how he was kind of struggling to kill Pokalam at times. And small battlefield, it has those two platforms, but also has the FD ceiling. So, especially if he catches him on the, uh, on one of those platforms with an up B or an up smash, that'll be killing extremely early. Yeah, Albert going right in with these nares. Doing all the damage that they can. Backing off and chasing appropriately on Isabel, who has hard no answer to this chase now. Which is a weakness of the character. She doesn't have like a tree or something to to help her like stop neutral, like or like stop things from getting too aggressive on them. They have like the mine, which you can like fight around, and the fishing rod, which only goes at a certain distance. Ooh, tries to read the roll or whatever get up that first smash. I feel like that was the perfect spot where I feel like he was trying to bait him into a ledge attack, but I'm, I, I feel like the fact that he did it at that specific range, I wouldn't be surprised if that was just outside of get up attack range. Oh yeah. Like a little bit maybe, it doesn't go that far. With scoops. <gasps> oh no, that'll be. Yeah, Isabel of course does not have uh, the RNG component to her uh, up air and down air, but that also means that she isn't going to get the really strong hits oh, with a uh, solid a parry. Nice kill there from Albert. Clean and composed. That's going to be a throw yeah. kill. Good stuff there for Pokemon. Even you off the stocks. Yeah, this is a very close game. Hard to call, really. Like, on one end, Pokemon is not having too much of a trouble uh, fighting against Albert. But Albert, not shaken by this counter pick of a character. And just simply keeping the Nairs going. I think they're more confidently than they did game one against the villager, which puts the whole stop button on the screen to treat. In Isabel, Isabel's case, she just has to pray that mind, that little Lloyd mind works. Oh, again, nice. using that fishing rod as an anti-air option. Earlier we saw like that Pokemon was trying to use it on the ground to just it'll be consistently shielded by Albert. But now he's using it instead. There's that little bit of a backfiring on this particular stage because he's able to use those platforms to turn fishing rod once again into an anti-air option. I wonder if she can still grab it if it's still on the screen, the little shot put. The whole the whole pocket missing right there. <gasps> what? He could have died. That was so risky from Albert, but Managed to get away with that situation with their special move, uh, movement. Oh, it should not be a shield there, but I, well, that's well, the third time. Bro. Fourth, How many times do you go for that? I can't believe you didn't go for the the fourth one. Would have hit. Dude. Yeah, yeah, it definitely would have hit. Throw me off. <laughs> that must have been buffered like crazy though. Like of all the times he saw Isabel like approaches, it's like ah, puppy. I must connect with this. I must kill. And yeah, we can see that the mine is on the middle of the uh, stage right there. You can slow this down to a crawl right here at this point. Albert does not need to go in. He's got the percentage lead. At the same time, if <laughs> I don't feel like Pokalam is going to be approaching himself anytime soon. Which means that he needs to, you know, continue avoiding damage, oh, not get caught with a no, kill setup. I'll be again. I can't believe he's still get off that platform. There's, there's the platforms. Oh, I lost the lead. Uh, I, five percent, but uh, okay. 
<laughs> Look at them just taking it easy. So I agree with this, but at the same time, one loose. <gasps> oh, finds the gap and there's right in. Oh, yeah, missed nares that one time. And now this the is gonna be time. tricky. It's so tricky. L earlier on, we did see that Albert would usually get a back air to you know even up the stock count really quickly, but this time around, it seems like Pokelam oh. is ready for it. He's not getting caught by back airs and instead. Catching the landings instead, They're able to dish out already 31%, and that percent lead is going to be massive, especially because it is worth looking at the timer. Uh, two minutes and 20 seconds. That's the sort of thing where we're probably not going to be seeing time, but within a minute, they're going to be freaking out about the time, and that's going to be forcing whoever is behind at <gasps> that point to go for some sloppy approaches. Same place. Yeah, but Hulklam can just sit comfortably here for like a good minute or two. Just having that Lloyd Rocket out. It's up to Albert to find that one gap and they'll get that Nair. The Nair plane started. You gotta hit. They gotta keep it going. So you gotta get that Nair, you gotta watch where they go, and then after that, you gotta react accordingly. Oh man, we're Someone a little hard though. The up air and down oh. air as anti air options. <gasps> That's huge, 93% now. And you could see the nervousness in Albert. He knows that he can't take his time anymore. Not really. Wow, did that just go through? Like legit everything? Nice. Boy, rock it off the ledge, reads the roll. Simple setups go a long way, and Pokelam takes the set. Yeah, that was so good right there. Putting that Lloyd Rocket, sort of limiting the options, can't ledge jump at that point, can't neutral get up, and Pokelam sort of anticipating the ledge option of roll, just places himself right there, gets the up smash. And actually, this Isabel counter pick, it seemed kind of questionable at first, purely because Isabel is generally Look at her. not as good a character as Villager. Generally speaking, but you can see how um, there is, can be a lot. Like there, there are value to switching around to these characters like that. Yeah, just having a good handful to choose from in certain situations it is is super good to have for for Pokemon. And they're gonna go far at the Zeno. I feel like top eight could could shine brightly for them today. <laughs>